I got a cat on my shirt. Wow! Cat on my shirt! Hey everyone, it's Nicola. I was asked to do a video like this on Instagram once. Um, I don't know if I am the best person on the planet to do a video on this particular topic, um, but I am going to try. So the topic today, um, since I am a university student for like the fourth time in my life, I was asked to do some organizational tips for a college student. Um, I personally am an individual who deals with procrastination. Um, even saying the word takes me a while. But um, it really depends on the subject. If it is a subject I enjoy, I tend to get right on it and I get it done. If it is a subject that I would more not want to do and possibly push off of a bridge if it was a person, uh, then it'll take me forever to do. Let's just get to the tips. Um, the first tip that I'm going to give to anyone when it comes to organizing for your school is to use your planner. <laughs> From what I know, most universities will supply these. I generally buy my own because I like to have a certain kind of space, but use these. This is mine. I pretty much have it just written all up in here. I'm not going to show it to you too much, but it really does help to stay organized and at least write down what your homework's do, and when you have a test or an exam or a midterm or something coming up because those can sneak up on you. Like I swear to my goodness, it can really sneak up on you. I remember last semester I had two exams, or not two exams, two projects that were due back to back and I didn't realize one of them was due because I didn't write it down. Luckily, I somehow got a pretty good mark on it, but still, use your planner. That is tip numero uno. My second tip would have to be being aware when your projects are due. Like I just said, they can sneak up on you like you would not believe, especially if you're a first year student straight out of high school. Let me tell you, university is not like high school. Um, you are not going to get extensions. You will get deductions instead, usually percentage between two to 5%, depending on your teacher. And of course, I'm guessing your country, at least in my university, is two to 5% per day deduction. Uh, so you could get an A, but bring it down to a B like, so quick so be aware when your projects are due write it down and get started on them early not necessarily have to finish them two weeks prior but at least get started on them and keep in mind when they're due and work on them maybe through the course of like two three weeks whenever it was like prior assigned to you because sometimes projects you know things something can go wrong or you could end up doing the project totally wrong not looking at the criteria correctly and then you have to redo it with, in 24 hours and that can be a pain in the butt so yeah that is my second tip. Be aware when your projects are. And coming right after that, third tip, know when your exams are. Sometimes exams can end up being back to back and that can sometimes be just horrible. Or the worst circumstances and when you, when you have exams on the same day, you need to be aware when your exams are. I know it feels like they're four months from now, don't need to worry about it, but if you don't look at your exam dates and you don't see whether back to back or you have two on the same day, or sometimes even worse, two at the same time, that needs to be dealt with ASAP because some teachers might not be too keen on making a day just for you or maybe somehow you can switch it to another like classes day exam if that makes sense but be aware when your exams are so let's count them right now use your planner know when your projects are and know when your exams are coming up on that you have to realize your social life's gonna take a hit that's my fourth um, piece of advice especially for people who are just out of high school you are not gonna have the same social life that you once had unfortunately your social life will take a bit of a hit you will see people obviously in classes you will make friends in classes but you might not be able to go and hang out with your friends every single weekend um, especially if you're a student who ends up having to work at the same time your social life is going to take a hit um, and to pick your social life over doing your homework is not a good call. I know many students over my years of being in university who would do that and then they'd be really really confused as to why their final grade or the mark they got on their essay or the mark they got on their test is so low. Well it's because you picked your social life over your doing your homework that day. Do your homework first and then do your social life because that's the reality. You will need to kind of plan your life around your homework and your tests and your schooling and everything else will be extra. And again, especially if you're working, then you have to plan everything around your work, your school, and then everything else. 
is extra. And it sucks, but it is it's it is what it is, especially if you want to do well in university. So that is an organizational thing, it is a time organization thing. My fourth piece of advice would be is of organization is it's a little thing, but I find it helps me. Picture this. You drop your binder and your notes go friggin' everywhere. And arranging them again is going to be a real pain in the butt. Something I've taken to doing, especially my notes, is I will date them. I will date the time that I took these notes. Because then for whatever circumstance, if they get all mixed up, you can just find the date and then arrange them by date. So that is a little piece of organization. It's a little random piece, but I find it helps to keep my notes on track and in order because that obviously is very, very important. On top of that, take notes. That's another organizational thing. Take notes because as much as you may read the textbook, many of your test questions will most definitely come from the notes that your teacher has you take because they're telling you something and if they're telling you something, it probably has something to do with what you're studying. So take notes. What number are we at for organizational things? I don't even know. I didn't organize for that. I should have, but I didn't. I should take my own advice. How about you get to the very last piece of advice. The last piece of advice is something that many, many of us have to deal with, including myself, is getting off of your social media and putting away the Netflix and turning off the YouTube. It is so, so easy to get distracted when you're doing homework or when you're trying to study because you just want to binge on Netflix. That's all you want to do. You just want to binge on Netflix, watch those YouTubers that you want to watch and just browse on your Instagram, but you have to put those away. It's not so much of an organizational thing. I guess it's more just a, it's just a study life. You're going to school kind of deal. You need to turn that stuff off. I am someone who definitely gets distracted very, very easily. Um, it's not that I have a short attention span. It's just things like YouTube and Netflix, they distract me. I'll find one video, then I'm like, oh, I'll just watch this one more. And then four hours later, I'm in the cute side of YouTube or the creepy side of YouTube and I can't get out and I have a test tomorrow. But it doesn't matter because I need to watch this video because Slender Man scares the crap out of me and I know I need to know how to fight him. So, yeah, that's a big one. Turn off your YouTube, your Netflix, and your social media, especially your social media. Instagram can wait. Twitter can wait. That stuff can wait. And don't go on Facebook going, ah, ha, ha, procrastinating. It's not a good thing. It'll bite you in the butt. And it bit me in the butt bad last semester with those two projects that are back to back. So that is my really quick organizational thing. Like I said, I don't even know how many numbers. I will put them in while editing. The video is a bit longer than I want it to be, but I decided to just cover a few university organizational tips. I should probably take my own advice. I hope you take it, even though I usually don't with certain topics. If it's, if it's a subject I like, I'm right on it and done it within like two days. So anyways, that is my spiel. If you like my video or you want to see more, you can subscribe. And if you want to check out my Instagram or my blog, I will post links in the description below. And you can feel free to check those out. So until next time, good luck studying my fellow, you know, school folk. <laughs>